We were taught what the Constitution meant, why our founders fought the revolution, and why we fought a civil war to free even more of our pockets. But it seems like we're going retrograde in modern society back to the very place that we were before we had a Constitution, before we had a 13th or 14th Amendment, and pushing people right back into slavery. But if you look at countries like Venezuela, or Greece that have had to have upheavals to get their government to listen, it's a long-fought road when you don't have the arms to do it. Well, part of the problem here is that the least wise, because of this visceral and obviously tragic experience, again, the media is demanding that we forget all history, we forget all revolutions, we forget all tyrants, we forget all mantras of history, stop what we're doing, do exactly what these students say, and question not. And that's part of the problem. And they're putting these students on morning, noon, and night, morning, noon, and night, morning, noon, and night, and making a few minutes for Stormy Daniels. Right. And, you know, I, I, guess, I guess we should ask America, you know, if they have a get-out-of-tyranny-free card in their back pocket. I've looked through my Monopoly set, and I can't find that card. But I've heard from so many people in the past 30 years making the same argument over and over and over again. I'm blue in the face. I don't want to argue it anymore. It is what it is. If you want to come for the guns, fine. Moan lobby. There's the line. You wouldn't accept a foreign invader coming into this country to destroy your rights. Many of us have fought wars to protect our freedoms. We hear that every time we come home in uniform. Well, at what point do you determine what that domestic enemy is that you swore an oath to when you raise your right hand and sign the dotted line to go out to fight wars? I can't sit in every I can't sit in every public high school classroom. Neither can you. But you have to ask yourself, what the hell are they teaching? What is the social condition? Alright, I gotta take a break here. Monica Crowell is standing by to do this. She has an amazing piece in the hill about the voters' appetite for the Stormy Daniels story. We're right, they're wrong. That's the end of the story. Uh, it's it's awesome. this radio program cannot be broken. Okay. Series Sex and Patriot. My administration is also confronting things called sanctuary cities that shield dangerous criminals. Your office, whether it's a home office or an office office, it's where you conduct your 